I check my head, come back if I see I Who do you model your game after? Terrell Owens. I have to say Bill Curley, former Timberwolf, was a great left-handed role model for me. Tom Gugliotta. Uh, Mark Madsen. Kevin McHale is kind of the rubric, the paradigm that I go by. I've got the up and under. I've got arms like a gorilla. I really feel his plight coming from Hibbing. His classmates made fun of him, part Jewish, and he was on Cheers that one time. What are your thoughts on Coach McHugh? What, the guy that never shows up? Did he have our... I mean, where is he? He's supposed to be the coach, but he never comes out to play. No one's going to listen to anything he says when he doesn't show up. What are your strengths? Oh, my biggest strength is I don't have any weaknesses. You know, pump faking is one of the main assets that I bring that a lot of people don't use. The pass fake and the shot fake. I have a little bottle of steroids and some lidocaine. I can inject joints. That's pretty cool. That would freak a team out. If we all lined up and started getting injections before, that's what we should do that. Paul, can we do that this year? Hey, Dave, call Paul. I don't really have any skills. I just have intensity, heart, desire, and I wear everything on my sleeve, and sometimes down my chin. Do you have any, Chew? I've got a 12-inch penis. So I bring that, and uh, hey, I'm getting interviewed here, dude. Um, it's my understanding that this is a one and done tryout. I have the touch of Kevin McHale. I have the moves of Niles Barkley. And I got the fucking titties of Christina Aguilera. He's not gonna be on the team, is he? So I'm gonna have to mess him up and I prefer to hit people from other teams. Uh, guys, thanks for coming out today uh, to Team Unglob League uh, tryouts. I don't know if you're warned ahead of time, but uh, apparently this documentary crew is gonna be filming a documentary about uh, the season. I just found out that uh, the owner has sent somebody to help make roster decisions, so apparently it's not gonna be all up to me. Uh, you'll be judged on basketball skill, hustle, presentation, your interview skills, and uh, kind of the intangibles, the uh, je ne sais quoi that you bring to the, uh, to the court. Uh, je ne sais suck my d Show me some heart, show me some hustle, show me what you can bring to the team, and uh, let's run it up. Prove your loyalty to Team Umglavlik. Next question. Uh, how about I showed up for the games when we sucked and no one wanted to show up? I don't have to prove my loyalty. I was freaking there. What the hell? Didn't miss a single game last year, even if I showed up a little bit late or a little bit hungover. I was still there to play when the whistle blew. For a guy my age, I work out a lot, like a uh, couple, couple times a month. My knees are a little worn down from the years of playing. I gotta, gotta keep them uh, fresh. I use a lot of, uh, you know, Ben Gay on the knees. So I'll be anywhere you need me to be, and I'll play any day of the week. Um, like one or two times a month. That's old school. Really? How do you feel about cameras documenting your life? I think it's good for the world to see Ledge in action, you know? Something. Just let us play ball! <laughs> uh, from a young age, I've been uh, followed by cameras. I mean, I'm a pretty guy in general. People like to see me. I'm rich, and I'm smooth. Uh, they're fine every place but in the bedroom. And you know, who doesn't want to be on TV? Even if it is the internet. YouTube's the new TV. It's the new pink, too. I've spent a long time living in the shadows of other people. I mean, why should everybody else get the limelight? Why not me, you know? I'm, I'm coming into my own, and I want people to know about it. I want my name out there, I want my face out there. I want my skills on the court to be, be shown. It's hard for me to remember a lot of the things that I do and pass that on to people. Uh, you know, hell, I can't even remember what I was doing earlier this morning. So documenting my life, that's great, you know? 84, I would have dunked that. Good. State your name for the camera. Hi, I am Shelby Crabble, Michael Crabble's wife. And I am here today to watch my husband, who has the ball right now. Oh, honey, nice pass. He almost scored a minute ago. So close. So anyway, I am here with my husband. I'm, I try to be with him every day that I can, every moment that I can, because he means the world to me. And look at him on this team. He's a team player in everything that he does. I come to his games, I come to his practices. Um, if I can, I, 
I go with him to work in the morning, um, and then I'll just take the bus. Sometimes I'll just stay there at work with him, and I'll read or do whatever if he needs me to run an errand. That's what I do. He is, he is my life. We've been married seven years, and we went to college together. That's where we met, and even then, he excelled on everything that he was involved in. Everything. Why do you think the team has gained such a following? It all starts right here in the passion, in the heart, and people see that right when they watch us play. They see what we're playing for, they see the desire to win, and they see that camaraderie, and everybody who sees that wants to be a part of Englaubich. Oh, it's the powerhouse. You, you run behind it, you can't, can't argue. You look at him and say, all right, we'll follow these guys, they know what they're doing. I don't know, it seems like kind of a freak show. People like accidents. You see a car wreck on the side of the road, people stop and watch. That kind of seems like this team to me. Maybe people heard I was joining it, I don't know. There is no following. There's, we couldn't get people to show up and play, much less anyone to, what, to like watch the game, to be a fan. I mean, come on. At the tryouts, it looked like you and Dave got in a fight. What was that about? Uh, he informed me that I would not be selecting the roster. He told me that um, the internet would be voting on who made the team, which I thought was an excellent idea because uh, the American public never gets those sort of things wrong. I mean, they elected Bush twice, and that worked out pretty well. The uh, final straw was when he told me that Paul could make changes to the roster whenever he wanted to, maybe even mid-game. How did you handle the news? Oh, pretty well, I thought. What's your relationship with Dave? Dave is the godfather to my baby. For now. Whoa, be easy to beat your, just for the